Money in the Bank dangles 20 feet above the ring. And all six of these competitors will sacrifice life and limb to get it. Well, all that stands between these superstars and glory is uh, 20 feet and a briefcase. A six-man match. We're in for a treat. But hey, The Undertaker would like nothing more than to bury another victim. We'll see if he can get it done. There's a punch worthy of the greatest heavyweights of the time. Yeah, that looked like a Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali shot. Let's touch on Undertaker a bit. You have to respect the pride he has in his game. He's certainly not one to take a lot of shortcuts to get ahead. When you're not used to relying on two others, these type of matches can be tough to adjust to. I'll be interested to see how this one plays out. As well, he should be proud, Michael. He's an accomplished WWE superstar. That alone is something to be proud of. Undertaker looking mortal here. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially rebounds. And Michael, this might very well be where one of these guys pulls away from the other. Good point, John. And I'd say this match is about as even as it could get at this point. Just playing a wide range of offense here. Ooh, hard shot by Undertaker. He's starting to feel it here. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. Well, Michael, he certainly thinks he'll have better success outside the ring than in it. We'll see if that holds true. You said it, John. And I'm a little surprised he spent so much time outside the ring thus far. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. Back in the ring again. in maneuver. This could be it. It's got to be it. He's okay. He's okay. He just took a bad step. No big deal. You can never guess what's going to happen in a contest like this. Well, to be honest, I've always thought that these matches should have two referees. He's showing no signs of letting up. Now, that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. Yeah, and that's a message you don't want to receive. The offense of the Rock is working well right now. Not where you want to be with the dead man. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? When this guy's on, look out. Heading up. What a series. Nobody's backing down here. Attacking his opponent 10 feet in the air. Okay, but can't we do this on the ground? Hmm. Look at him taking to his opponent on top of the ladder. He's very close to winning this thing, guys. Making it to the top of the ladder may be the easy part. Once you start working on bringing that thing down, you are completely vulnerable. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. He's looking to put his opponent away on right. What a move. Wow, now that's what you call a finisher. This might be a hot damn this exciting. I have a feeling we're going to see several more demonstrations like that before the night's over. Make no and that was a huge count. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. he can take it. Oh, that's got to hurt. Not this. He's looking at it again. Did you see that? Did you hear that? It seems that someone is very comfortable using a weapon against an opponent. He's showing no signs of letting up. He's in full-on attack mode now. He looks a bit off his game here. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. Hey, when it comes to the guy's finisher, he's at the belief if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Yeah, but I wouldn't get too concerned for him. I'd still say he's in a very favorable position. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. The Rock going to work now. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you got. What a shot. What a shot from the ladder. Hey, now. And there's some more emotion on display. I don't know how much more damage he can take. He's doing everything he can to get his bearings back here. Otherwise, this match could be over sooner than anyone could have anticipated. Yeah, Cole, this is when you have to settle things down. Get the blood flowing back in your body and strategize what your next move or your next form of attack will be. All this demoralizing damage to The Rock. How can he take the upper hand here? 
His hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. You said it, and he does not want to let his opponent gain some steam here and start to get the upper hand. This could be it. Wait, is he still conscious? Man, that looked bad. This is the type of contest where things can happen in an instant, whether you see it coming or not. Back into the ring now. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. like that, he's going to need a... Oh my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Wow, he's still down after that. The ring may not be big enough for what's about to unfold here. Are you kidding me? This entire arena may not be big enough. Even more damage to the face. And that face looked like it had been damaged enough already. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. Wow, can't believe The Undertaker got out of that one. What is keeping The Rock in this match? He is barely hanging in there. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. He has to be extra careful here. An injured shoulder can cut right out of the socket. Oh, I've seen that before, and it's not pretty. Here we go. He's making a statement here with this attack. Kofi Kingston is really going to town right now. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Looking at it here, he may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. We know what this is. Up, up, and away. Still got work to do. Oh, his body has to be... My God, his body's been through hell and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Extra slow getting back to his base here. Higher and higher! My God, his body's been through hell and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. his opponent to the limit here. Toss to the outside, like yesterday's garbage. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Whoa, usually when someone decides to use a weapon, you can almost guarantee it's not a one-time occurrence. You gotta be ready for anything. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be King, but I still don't see him giving up. Still a long way from the top. The ring may not be big enough for what's about to unfold here. Are you kidding me? This entire arena may not be big enough. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Careful what you wish for. It could get real ugly outside the ring. And these guys are real ugly. Oh, look out. We're taking this thing to the floor. Yeah. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. The Undertaker is not someone out. She's going to be bruised from head to toe before this one's over. Getting back into the ring now. This match has taken so long. Get the medics down here. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Oh, man, crashing and burning. Wow, look at him, guys. He is just seconds from victory. It's not going to take long to bring it down now. 
He's just seconds from victory. This is it. This is going to be it. Down to the floor. Oh, hard. Not where you want to be. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Here we go. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. That move at this juncture of the match makes the intention unmistakable to be Lil. Trying to humiliate your opponent. There's no place for that here. Undertaker. Look out. He's got his hands on it. It's not going to take long to bring it down now. What an attack. And I don't have one problem with it. In the WWE, you do what you have to do to get ahead. Like in any business, only the strong survive. He's zoned in on the back now. Boy, those vertebrae's got to be close to being fractured. Oh, not again. Not again. Whoa. I think that one made the entire building shake. Just think of what that will do to your body. No thanks. I'm retired. Heads up the ladder. When it strikes land, you can feel it in the first few rows. King incoming! Ah! Onto the floor! This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's in full-on attack mode now. And it looks like this one's going out to the floor. I don't mind. Let's see a little outside the ring action. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. There's a point where all of your training goes right out the window and you rely on instinct. After getting beaten twice with a weapon, you can bet this is... Oh, and did you hear the impact? Look out! Out here, King, you can use this whole ringside area as a weapon. Oh, yeah. Everything from the floor to the barricades can and will be used to inflict pain. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. The top of that ladder looks awfully far away. Careful what you wish for. It can get real ugly outside the ring. And these guys are real ugly. Still a long way from the top. Back inside the ring now. Oh, this isn't good. And it's just getting worse. I wonder if the referee is too intimidating to do anything. At some point, this madness has to end. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Tossed out like a rag doll. He dropped like a stone king. How many cliches can you and I use? He dropped him like a bad habit. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. What an attack. Take it from me, there's never a good place or a good time to get hit. WWE's not like other sports where you call a timeout after a major hit. The match goes on. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Oh, man, crashing and burning. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. Oh, he's got his hands on it. This could be it. Oh, man, and it looks a little wobbly up there. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Heading up. He's so close to earning a championship opportunity at the time of his choosing. Oh, this is scary. I can tell you from experience, it feels like you're 10 miles in the air now. He gets out of trouble there. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Undertaker is so destructive. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not going to give up. But man, this has been physical. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Here we go. Oh, no. The Rock with the opening. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. 
We've got a climber. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. Boy, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. Way. Rearrange your face. Turned his attention to the opposition on the line. One wrong move, and this match is over. He was one step ahead on that one. How much damage did that do? A lot, from the looks of it. Oh, my. Get the medics down here. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. Higher and higher. When he gets going like this, there are few better. Back into the ring now. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. And The Undertaker managed to reverse out of that one. Undertaker's good three. Tremendous impact for that ladder. Second time we're seeing this here. Here we go. This could be it. Taker setting it up. Ooh, nice counter. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Tossed out like a rag dog. He dropped like a stone king. How many cliches can you and I use? Dropped him like a bad habit. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. He's just seconds from victory. Any second, that thing's coming down. The Undertaker puts it away. The Undertaker with a tremendous win.